Well, here we are, heading out from Yeringa Boat Harbour. Myself, Les, and Raymond. We're leaving Yeringa Boat Harbour now to go down and see if we can catch a feed of fish. First, we're going to target, oh, I think we'll target whiting. A little bit of an easterly wind today, it's going to make it a bit harder. Easterly wind with the tide coming in, it'll make it a little bit hard. Then later on, we'll go on the gars and get a feed of gars. We'll see how we go. Okay, bye. Beautiful day out here today. On that little on that little bit of a island behind Crawfish Rock. We're only probably in about six foot of water, maybe six, seven foot of water. I'll just watch and catch I catch a fish here in a minute. Yesterday there was about 200 boats fishing out here. Today, well, four. Here we are fishing for gars. Yes, sir. And Liz has got one on. They're coming pretty thick and fast. Nice one, too, by the looks of it. Oh, he's a nice fish. Very nice fish. I don't think you got me bait, Ray. You got a float went under the water. Yeah, no, I'm watch it. Back and Liz is fucking fish. I just <laughs> no swearing. I've got the cam on. Just a a lovely little Western Port gar. Must know enough to make you go gar gar. <laughs> got my mate down the back down there, Russell. And, him and Jan, they're catching a few. Wouldn't believe we were catching them. I told anybody we were catching them in Westernport because Westernport is so deep with shallow banks, of course. But um, we're in a position now where um, you just wouldn't believe where we're catching them. You just wouldn't believe it. People go past this by the hundreds every day, every day. That's Crawfish Rock over there in the distance, as you can see. And as I said once before, when the tide gets down a little bit, you can nearly jump out the boat and walk to the rock. But if you go left or right, then you'll go into about a hundred foot of water. There's Liz's float out there, we'll watch it for a second and just see what happens. Boat just went past and make it a bit rocky. Come on. A little bit of a, a little bit of a rough patch here at the moment, but boat went past. Making a little bit rock and rolly. I don't know how many we got in here, but I would say we've got about 60 or 70, I would imagine. So we'll get a few more, and then um, we'll go and have a crack at the whiting. When we left your ringer this morning, it was um, a little bit windy. We had a little bit of a wind going at probably around about oh, eight or ten knots, I suppose it was. When Les has got a nice fish here now. Nice fish coming in. Oh, you're a clever boy. Oh, so clever. So clever. He's not a bad sort of a guy, though. Yes, well, he's not a bad sort of a fish, is he? What do you think no, of he's, a, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Hmm. Nice fish. Beautiful. Mm. You could just about eat that. You could, and we probably will. Such a beautiful oh, day. He wants to go back. Yeah, well. Yeah, right, now you've got one. Now yeah, you got one, sunshine. We're going to have to get another rescue. Yeah, you have to get a bigger boat. Get a bigger boat. Another nice car coming in.
There's a nice little guy. What do you reckon, Raymond? Is it fun? It's alright, mate. Yeah. Mate, they absolutely, absolutely eat beautiful. Take the bones out of them, they're not hard to take the bone out. You can do them a couple of ways, you can fillet them, you can uh, butterfly them. You can rustle down the back having a drink. There's just got another one. Coming in pretty free now. got the professional cameraman with me today, <laughs> Uncle Les, so he keeps telling me what I'm doing wrong and showing me how to work this little program. And I just felt this garf is shit on me. <laughs> it's shit on me foot. <laughs> He's <laughs> taking it all the way down. Yeah. Oh. Have a look. Dirty little bastard shit on me foot. Oh god, where they come out. Here's the pliers. Oh, Not to be filled. Ah, why not? It's only for us. That might be his name, Gil. That might be his that might be his name, Gil. Just as well I'm here to tell him you what to do, right? Hey Ray, hey, hey talk John. to me Ray, talk to me I Ray, can't Ray. Say what I talk wanted. to me Ray, I can't say what no, I want. No I know, <laughs> but at least you got one. There's another nice guy coming. He's just crazy this fish, crazy. Crazy. Oh he got off, unbelievable. Let's back in the water again. That's probably out a little bit too far to uh, actually see what's going on, but Misty, Misty, Misty. Well, Miss Ray too. <laughs> Just You're right, Raymond. You're out there. You get that pretty hard, he did. And hit your float now, right? No. Yep. See, That's when you got to watch for that float to go on its side. Once it goes on its side. You know they're there, you know? When they bite you, for sure. Another one. It's the closest thing you'll ever catch to, catch to be in a marlin, uh, Ray. Hey? Eh? Talk to me, Raymond. Talk to me, Raymond. Talk to me, Raymond. Eh? Well, do you? They're, all, they're not all the be all and end all the marlin anyway, mate. Believe me. They are too hard. They really hurt you. These are big enough for me. Yeah, big enough for me too. Enough of my size. This, what a magic day. Just have a look at this day. It's just so, so nice. Les has got another one. As soon as it hits the water, they jump. We've got a we've got a, um, a burly bag at the back of the boat, and they're just they're right at the back of the boat. But we're getting them we're getting them just a, a little bit away from the boat because you've got to have you've got to have um, some fun. He's a nice guy. He is a that is a nice fish. That is a nice guy. <laughs> Not a bad fish at all. Oh, another one right down, another oh. one right down here. Look at the size of that fish. Beautiful. Oh. I think with braid there, which is not mine. No, it's not braid, it's off the towel. Oh, off the towel, you do okay. Yeah, use your pliers. Oh, I can see it now.
Dr. Leslie Chambers is uh, operating today, officiating, operating. The hook's broken. The hook's broken. <laughs> by hook or by crook? We'll tie another one on. We, we, have, we have the ability to do that. Well, we've uh, actually stopped to have a break. So, Les has got his shirt off. Ray's having a soft drink. Les is going to have a beer. I'm going to have a Bundy. So, the cameraman's got to be uh, a little bit thirsty, so he's going to have a little break. As is Ray. So this is bearing the body beautiful. My, oh my Buddha. Oh, oh my Buddha. Look like a Buddha. Okay, we're going to have to um, scale a few of these fish now. So just count, count 25. Four. That's 25 sound. Sounds good to make We're um, going to put one bag inside another bag so these guards don't climb through, don't pull through. Yeah, just tie that one at the top. Give it a... Pull it out a little bit and give it a twist around and just tie it at the top or whatever. Yeah, that'll do. You know what you're doing. Uh, that's alright. Just drop it back in the bag, bro. Right? And then close that bag up. Close it up with the... No, close it up with the... With the Slide that ring down, right down on. Slide it down, that's it. Oh, that ring. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. All right. Now, that'll do. We'll go and see. We'll scale these. All right, we're now towing, towing our fish. Some of our fish are long in the net. Put the scales on them. Have a look at this. Both cameras are set for that. Just um, a day's fish.